So it's April Fools and I didn't really know what playing the cover and then I figured why not just fly this thing instead? Because well this plane is an absolute joke. Sure it has an air spawn, it has very good guns but it's 7.3 and is it really worth the trade off? Because even though it has better guns it also means it's a lot heavier especially in the nose which makes it turn even worse than the A1A already does. Of course when you fight planes like the P26 over there this thing becomes suddenly pretty good but I wouldn't really battle seeing a lot of those in your average game. But what makes this thing so bad? It's a 7.3 BR with worse performance than the A1 already does and I just did a video on the 262A1, the, the J-Bo, the Jabo, the Yabo, the Yabo, whatever you want to call it. You, you guys seem to get triggered when I mispronounce something, so I'm just going to do it on purpose now. Yes, it has good guns and you guys probably got on a few 5 kill games because well, people just fly into them. If they don't, you're not really going to get many kills. That was absolute piss poor shooting, that's on my end. Sure you can now disqualify everything I'm going to say in this video just because I missed that shot. But you know, some of you guys were going to do that regardless. Gonna pitch up after this F80. And he's just going to fly into my guns. And I miss it anyway. Because I'm trash. Go head on with the A2D. Shoot a little bit in the head on. Pull off the moment he shoots. I'm not sure how that hit, but he one shots my engine. Because well, that's the life of the 262. If you get hit by anything, either your wing roots or one of your engines will blow up. Or all four at the same time. The nice thing about these guns, however, you got MK103s. Which have quite a bit of range and quite a bit of stopping power. So if people fly into your guns, well you can bet your ass that they are going to blow up. If of course you manage to even get your guns on target, unlike me in this entire video. But here we go, that's an F84G right in my face. And the people that will say, well the 262A1U1 has an air spawn, so it must be good, right? Well, bad news for you, no, it's actually not. The F84G, the F84B, the F3D and all those good fun planes also do get an air spawn. And if you don't want to full commit head on you at the start of the match, they will just counter you and there's nothing you're going to be doing and the next video of mine will be on the F84B and it will show you just how easily you can absolutely shit on these things. They're not going to touch you. All you can do is hope they fly into your guns, hope you have good aim and hope they don't one shot your engine or your wing roots or both at the same time. Because that's just the reality of it. Sure you get an air spawn, sure you get good guns and once you get those freak matches and everyone is disabled in the head then yeah. You will have some decent results. But simply getting more than 3 or 4 kills in a single game doesn't mean that the plane is good. Because right here I'm showing the exact same thing. I got 6 kills and the last game I got 5. And here I'm going to show you what the true purpose of this plane is. Ground pounding. I'm running armored targets on the MK103s. And these belts are absolutely insane when it comes to killing ground targets. And that's what this plane is really made for. It made into a strike fighter. And that is not to make it some bootleg fighter. That's not what this thing is. Sure it can be a meme. Sure sometimes you get these funny matches where five people had only had one. Just like Smeagol who got like an ace in 20 seconds. Sure it's funny. But that doesn't mean that the plane is good. I run this thing on min fuel. Because anything more this thing turns in even more of a boat than it already is. But you can tell that like just single firing these cannons. Will blow up medium, light. And mostly even heavy tanks. Heavy tanks are a little bit more tricky. Because sometimes the, the HVAP might bounce off. Because well HVAP doesn't like angling. But that's just a matter of aiming and a little bit of dispersion. You just have to get a bit, little bit lucky on those. But medium tanks, it doesn't really matter where you shoot them. Sometimes you'll bounce, sometimes you hit a very extreme angle and then yeah, the shell won't penetrate. But if you just shoot like this, if you just go level on the ground, preferably you just come from behind and then you can melt an entire line in a single strafe. Which is what this thing is good at. It's a ground LB plane. Treat it like one. Don't think that this thing is 7.3 because it's superior to the A1A, the j -Bow. That's just what it is. It's a ground LB plane. And that's the entire reason this battle rating went up. So if you think that you're going to get a very good plane for free. With the, the squadron vehicles and shit. No. That's simply not what's going to happen. You're going to get your ass handed to you by anyone with a brain. Unless you get down tier to 6.3. And I can tell you. I haven't gotten a single one of those. Every game was at the minimum 7.7. .7 and I haven't seen many 6.7s. And it doesn't even matter. 7.3s will kick your shit in. Hell even 7.0s will kick your shit in. If the enemy is in a jet, he will kick your shit in. And that's just how it is. This thing is not good. And I might sound frustrated and you might ask, why is that? Well, because every time I make a video on a plane with good guns, with an air spawn, and I call it bad, I will get at least 10 comments saying, oh, but I got 5 kills in this thing. Yeah, maybe you did. But if you try to look at the broader picture and you try to look at like what you're killing, how you're killing him, is it because the plane is good or is it because the enemy simply doesn't know what to do with? 
can bet your ass 9 out of 10 times is going to be the ladder. And there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe it's just a great grounding plane. Maybe it's good for farming some at low T or whatever. It doesn't matter. And yes, I'm not actually boiling here. I'm not actually that mad. It's April 1st and I want to mold. I'm molding. Don't you hear it? I just sh shaved off like 90% of my hair. I'm almost done molding. I'm allowed to do this once a year, aren't I? And I'm not official for sympathy, I just find this hilarious. I find it actually hilarious that people think the plane is good just because they get 5 kills. And this might sound extremely condescending. It maybe is a little bit. But simply getting a lot of kills in a plane doesn't make the plane good. A lot of times it's just a simple matter of everything falling exactly into place like you want it to be. And I'm not gonna say that getting 6 kills isn't good. That is not like worth getting a screenshot of or whatever. That's completely fine. I'm just trying to say that getting 6 kills in terms of the argument of saying that the plane is good doesn't actually mean that it's good. Because when you look at, say for example, the Wyvern video that I uploaded earlier this week. I actually do recommend you to check it out. I'll put it in the top right. It's fucking hilarious. I got 8 kills under 2 minutes. And if the guy that I crit crashed... Or died the moment I shot him. It would have been like one and a half minutes. This does not mean however that the Wyvern is a good fighter. The other great example that I have is when I call a plane bad that's easy to use. The SK-60. I got a video where I got 6 kills in like a minute. And people were actually using that video as an argument that that plane was overpowered. The plane goes 720 km an hour in a straight line at 7.3. The Kika at 6.7 goes over 850 and don't even get me started on the F-84s, the P-80 and all those planes. Everything at that BR outruns it. Against propeller planes, yes, it's completely broken. But it's a 7.3 jet in a full down tier. Even this thing will be broken against an F-2G. That's just how it is. And I want to kind of stop ranting now. And I don't want to do too many of these videos. And I know that lately I kind of have been doing it a little bit more than usual. But I'm also running out of good planes. I'm simply running out of good planes and I'm stuck with all these trash things that I haven't covered yet. Because in general I don't fly bad planes. And why don't I fly bad planes? Because I can't really give you tips on it. It's a matter of again getting lucky, getting in a good situation, having good positioning, having good target prioritization. And I can teach you those things in one or two videos. You will need a lot of experience, you need a lot, a lot of videos, a lot of examples. For it to make sense sure i can give you a rule list like some some kind of checklist that you can kind of work on some things you want to focus on more than the other but that's not a plane specific thing that's you as a pilot and you want to work on those points you want to get better at those and if you want to get better at those you will get better at those 99 percent of the time so there will be some exceptions there will be some people that still have some really like a really hard time getting a grasp of those things and there's nothing wrong with that. We're all good at different things in life. 1% of this game will have a very easy time picking it up. And will be good at this game by 500 to 1000 games. And the other one will need 8000. Some have a talent for it. And some have a talent for not being good at this game. And that's simply how it is to be human. And there's nothing we're going to be doing about that. You just have to work that much harder to reach the same level of skill. And yes, it's unfair. But that's unfortunately how life is. That's unfortunately how War Thunder is. This game is completely unfair. Some matchups are just impossible to win unless the enemy is just not very good. And that's just sadly the way this, this game functions. And it's the same thing when people ask me, how do you fly X-plane stock? Or I know this plane is bad. Can you give me some tips on flying this thing? And in the end, it will all depend on how expensive your gaming chair is. It does not matter what you do. If the enemy plays it right and you're flying a bad plane and he's not flying a stock plane... You are not going to win it. That's the unfair thing about War Thunder. It's designed to be frustrating. It's designed to be grindy. So that you spend money. And you don't feel bad about yourself. Because you can sit there and feel bad about yourself. Because you just got killed by an SK-60B. In your F7F. This is an extreme example. And most people won't actually feel bad about that. But you can imagine that this applies to a lot of planes. You're flying an F7F. And you're thinking... What can I do against this SK-60? And the only thing you can do is go head on. Hope he flies into your shells and hope he misses you. Because if he dodges that head on. And he pulls back in and he slaps Naden in your cockpit. You die. If he dodges the head on completely. Flies around you. He outturns you. You die. 
if he simply climbs away from you, you die. You, the options that you have are so limited that it doesn't even matter how bad the enemy is. You will most likely lose just because he can choose 8 things to do. And 7 of those will end up in you being dead. And unless he picks that one choice, which is probably not even the most like... It's probably the dumbest thing, so it's the last thing they will do. Then you will win. So stop feeling bad about it. Stop feeling bad about getting absolutely slammed around in the 262A1U1. Or even in the 262 Jabo. Yes, I'm still doing it on purpose. That's just how this game works. And the 262s are some of the most power crap vehicles in the game. And this one is even worse than the one we already have in the tech tree. Of course it has an air spawn and that's nice and all. But in the end it's just a gimmick plane. And there you have it. Life lessons when defined. And yeah, so that's the, actually the first time I set my own name on the channel. So if you manage to watch this, this video for 11 minutes, there you go. You now know what my name sounds like. I, I sincerely don't give a shit what you call me. But that's what it was intended to be called. And everyone went with Devin, so I guess I will too. Hope you all enjoyed the life lessons and the rant. I will see you all very soon again with an F84B video. And I will show you just how effortlessly we are going to kill an entire team of 262s.